This is the SWIT 300 watt Spotlight. It's an ultra bright LED for an L light and is ideal for broadcast studio and field video productions. It's capable of going from a spotlight to a floodlight with an adjustable angle from 20% to 70%. The onboard chip is capable of going from 3000 Kelvin to 8000 Kelvin, making it very flexible in any lighting environment. This unit has a CRI and TLCI of 95 and if you compare that to an average LED which is around 80 you can see that it has great color rendering accuracy. If you operate with a DMX controller you'll be happy to know that this light can be controlled through DMX with a standard 5 pin DMX in and out port with the color temperature and dimmer only taking up one DMX address. On the back of the light there is an LCD screen display which shows current dimmer percentage, color temperature value and DMX address. It also supports touch control to adjust and set the different values. This unit allows for silent mode to be activated for studio environments. This allows independent controls of the fans for those ultra quiet times when you need complete silence on set. As a backup, the unit will protect itself if it reaches above 75 degrees Celsius or 167 Fahrenheit by shutting the light off. For even more control of the light, the unit comes with a four leaf barn door that is completely rotatable and removable. We're here on location with our lovely talent and as you can see around us here the lighting is not too great. It's very toppy which uh, creates a lot of hard shadows under here which is not very good for videos. Um, so today we'll be shooting a talking head style video. So we want to use the outside light here which we don't actually have as a motivational source and that's where really large high powered lights come in handy. We're going to take a look at how this looks if we were to frame it up like an interview shot right now. Now taking a look at the actual framing we're going to be using, you can see here that the light side is facing to camera and the shadow side is facing the other way. Now generally you want to shoot with the shadow side to the camera because that adds a bit of three dimensionality to it and it just looks overall better. And you can also see that it's very, very toppy. You can see the eye shadow here, which is very unflattering and it can actually make you look a lot older than you are. Okay, so the first step is to grab our light stand and place it generally where we're gonna be putting the light. We have our light in place here and it's not necessarily going to stay there but we'll put the diffusion up and we'll see how it looks on camera and from there we can tweak it. So what we're doing here is we're setting up to put some diffusion on. Basically that's gonna turn it into a really large soft source. Now what we're using here is basically shower curtain from the hardware store. Very affordable and very, very effective. So we're gonna chuck that over there and clamp it on. Now we're probably going to need two layers of diffusion just to make it extra extra soft and the light is very very powerful so it can definitely handle that. Now that we have our, both our layers of diffusion up, we're gonna turn the house lights off and we're gonna turn the big light on and see how it looks and we can adjust from there. What I've done here is I've brought the light further over and the diffusion further over towards the subject. But you can see here, I'll come around this way, you can see here that the nose triangle is kind of up. Now we want that to sit down 
And the way we do that is by adjusting the light further up and then tilting down. Okay, so we're getting there now. Um, so what we can do now is put a bit of negative fill on the other side just to take away a bit of that rebounded light coming from the other side of the room. Now something to note about the negative fill, because this side of the face is going to be fairly close to the end of the frame, we can bring this negative fill really, really close and eliminate all that extra light. Let's chuck the 18 to 35 on and get it framed up and have a look what it looks like now. Taking a look at the final framing, you can see we have the shadow side facing the camera and we also have the lighter side appearing that it's coming from the outside through the window there. And we have that nice nose shadow here, the Rembrandt nose shadow here. And the light is not toppy at all. It's coming straight from the side. Um, you know, a little bit of an angle coming down here, but still it's very much a soft side light. Generally, this is what I try and look for when I'm shooting talking head videos, whether it's documentary or it's for corporate video production. I really like to go for a motivated lighting look. And one more thing I want to point out is that we're shooting into the corner of the room here. Um, and the frame is just off where the window is. So you can see the, the light, dark, light, darker look. And it just adds a bit of dimensionality to the frame. And I think it looks really nice. So to wrap things up, I'm really happy with how powerful and versatile the light is. And if you want to check it out for yourself, you can click the link in the description and it'll send you to their website. Now, before I go, I want to let you know I've got a couple more reviews um, with their products. This is a wireless system, which is really handy. And monitor. I mean, come on, look at this. It's like a baby pelican case that comes with the monitor, like no... No other companies are doing this. So yeah, check the link in the description and I'll see you in the next video.